Eva Wilson, you recently went to Japan to play Resident Evil 7. I did. It was... I. You know what? I am really quite surprised at how good it was it was um i mean i know like people were a bit unsure as to how the new direction was going and i was a bit concerned as well but it's like you know aside from all the you know the vr stuff and the first person perspective and and everything else it really feels like resident evil so we say it feels like Resident Evil, um, and obviously the Resident Evil series has changed a lot over the years, but we're talking about the very early days of Resident Evil, the real survival horror days, which is not what we've been used to recently, but this goes back to those early incarnations. Yeah, I mean, it just kind of embraces survival horror, right? Like, I mean, you know, it, it's easy to say that now with the new first-person perspective, oh, it's mimicking new games, new horror games like Amnesia and, you know, like Outlast and even Alien Isolation. But the fact is that, okay, so it's got that first person perspective, but even aside from that, it's got all the um, survival horror stuff that that old Resi games really, um, you know, had a focus on, like um, inventory management, like, you know, searching your surroundings. And the thing that I always loved about Resident Evil as well, which was, you know, you found a new item and you kind of had to like really think outside the box with it you know you had to either examine it a little bit more closely to find like a hidden latch or you know an extra little bit of detail that will help you unlock the next door um it just feels like that you come into this central hub you know like in an old resident evil game where you access a new area and at first it feels really i don't know where i'm going next but uh, but slowly through you know searching your environment and and sort of keeping your eyes open for new um items and and treasures and stuff you do unlock the path forward and that's survival horror i was talking to the um executive uh producer i was talking to like so many people on the development team i have so many um really cool uh interview snippets that i haven't even used in the written um piece that's gone up on the site today but like um talking to the executive producer uh jun takuchi he was saying that going back to the term of survival horror and what that means was a real um was a real focus for them and i think that that really comes across (laughs) <laughs> that gun is not going to work the way you think it will. Another way that they're doing that is through, uh, it sounds like, an increased sense of character, both um, the characters of the Baker family and also mm-hmm. the fact that you yourself are playing a character who isn't a super-powered anti-terrorist cop. Yeah. I mean, I know that at first it's kind of like you do do a double take when it's like, okay, there's no recognizable characters in this, but it actually makes perfect sense because every character that we that we know in a Resident Evil game, you know, that we've come to know in the Resident Evil games, they, they're used to this stuff now. They're not swayed by this. They're not phased by it. They have seen it all before and they're trained to be okay with that. Their instinct won't be to hide from... An adversary because they know what to do in order to overcome it you know, you know what i mean this guy ethan doesn't he, he well a he doesn't know what he's up against and neither do you really because the you know the, the stakes have have changed slightly and the enemies are a little bit different but he i mean he's just ill-equipped and he's just a regular guy that happens to be at the wrong place at the wrong time at least that's what we know for now so there are fewer enemies but i think that the focus has been on making those enemies more memorable and and more scary i suppose and it's funny because i you know i played when i went to play the game it was with a bunch of other people and it's funny how different people um came away being scared more scared of different members of the family like i was terrified of the father jack because he was so physically imposing and so loud and so brash and really quite um once he once he saw you he'd come for you but in a very um slow but deliberate manner and I don't that puts me on edge whereas other people were like terrified by the mother Marguerite because she was very shrill and very once she knew where you were she made you know all about it yeah I remember her from the demo yeah the lan- the lantern demo this might be quite a basic question but wh- what are the rest of the enemies are th- is it just the Baker family are there zombies well the so the only other enemies I encountered in a whole the whole five hours um were these things called the molded creatures which um have ties to the baker family but as far as i can tell they're like past victims of the bakers like the bakers are doing something to them that makes them become these weird really sort of not really zombies but kind of zombies they reminded me more of the regenerators from resident evil 4 those are my favorite enemies in the entire resident evil series and the noise which you mentioned in your preview oh i can remember 
moment. I can think of it now. They're horrible, aren't they? They're really horrible. And these guys, the molded creatures, are, are very, very similar. But the game is very, um, I guess, sensible in how it uses them. It doesn't just throw loads at you until you because you know the thing with the regenerators was i remember as you first encounter them i was absolutely terrified of them to the point that i didn't want when i knew one was in a room i didn't want to go anywhere near it but eventually you know you get you learn their secrets and you know that oh they've got these like heat spots in them you got to target them and they'll go down quite easily and of course when you overcome them you aren't as scared of them but i didn't get i wasn't with the molded creatures anywhere near enough to overcome that fear of them so I was always scared of them coming back because I was still unsure of how badly they could fuck me up, you know what I mean? I'm really interested in um, the bit you mentioned in your preview about the tapes which you experience and a kind of like little vi vignettes of, um, I guess, uh, victims of the Baker family. And we saw mm. one in the Lantern demo, right? That was mm. another one of the victims. And they are sort of woven into the story to give other points of view. It's really, like, that was my favourite part of the demo, I think. And I can't really talk about it because, you know, it's just because it's a bit of a spoiler and I think people should be able to um, to experience them for themselves. But the tapes are, like, yeah, little self-contained stories from different people, um, some who you might know and some who are, like, complete strangers, um, but all who have, like, come across the bakers in one way or another. And, yeah, you, they're, they're sort of... Um, they're eventual fates are unknown but so these tapes because they're self-contained and because they're featuring characters that are kind of incidental they can do whatever they like and I think that that's a really freeing for the developers to try out new things and b really scary for us because we have no idea what to expect from them so the ones that I've played there are no weapons in them whatsoever and they're very um they're they're very maybe puzzle focused or they're stealth focused or whatever um but because they're so unpredictable, they're really, really, they're really scary. Um, and they give you, you know, a deeper insight into the family members or they they just try out different things. And um, there's, I think that people are going to be really, I think people are really going to like them. I can't, I, do, I can't say more about them, but like there's one that I, in particular that I played that I, I really think is just brilliant. It's good. Dumb some bitch wasn't no good if it hit him. <laughs> Look yeah. Um, so is there anything else that people should know about Resident Evil 7 or um, might not expect from the game um, other than what we've talked about so far? Mm, I mean, it's, it's so hard to kind of give people a really good idea of what to expect because at the end of the day, the series has gone through so many mutations. What Resident Evil means to different people can vary so wildly. Um, but I think that the the main thing is that it is survival horror again. Like, it's not meant to be just jump scare after jump scare. It is meant to be um, you seeing an obstacle and then using what's around you to eventually overcome it and that kind of um the sort of curve of that like you know having scary moment then overcoming it and then that very brief moment of safety and then that that sort of eventually building up to another crescendo again is something that's really quite satisfying and it's something that has been a long time um thing for resident evil fans yeah, it's something that, that people are really going to enjoy. And I, I quite like the little moments of respite in between, um, I guess, monsters or encounters is really important because, like, it gives people a chance to actually t catch their breath and also take in their surroundings because, like, the the whole place that this... Um, the game takes takes place on the, the whole compound that it takes place on it sounds like it's really small when you explain it as being one location but it um it's really quite labyrinthine like we started off in i guess the main house and then you actually go outside and there's like an old farmhouse as well um you know woven between those there's a couple of different locations so it it, it is actually really really quite large and i there will be a lot of doubling doubling back i think as well cool well it sounds like the resident evil game that fans of the early series have been waiting for for a very long time which is very promising i'm kind of like really i guess surprised by it but i shouldn't be it's just that obviously capcom i mean some people like five and six and whatever but i think they've made a lot of missteps over the last couple of years um i just you know 
action action horror isn't really something that I've ever wanted from this series. So to see them sort of pull that all back and really re reevaluate what the series means to people, um, it's just quite exciting to see it f from my perspective back on track. All right. Well, um, I look forward to hearing more um, from your other bits and pieces and um, the previews up on Eurogamer right now. Yes, it is. And if you want to check out any other Resident Evil videos or any other videos from the channel, you can click on any of the links that are on screen now and do like and subscribe if you feel like it or the bakers will get you. Bye.